All right, guys, today we're going to be discussing how you can scale your high ticket online business to 10 or even 20K per month in just 90 days. And I'll be sharing with you the exact system, tactics, and workflows that I've actually personally used inside my own business. Nothing's gonna be hidden from me. Now, the first thing is I wanna set some expectations. If you are not yet a business owner, if you literally have nothing to sell at the moment, it's gonna take you a lot longer to scale to these numbers. Most of the entrepreneurs that I work with already have a business, even if they're brand new, even if they're still struggling and relying mostly on hope marketing, such as referrals, um, that's fine. If you have that, you can actually still get to five bigger months fairly quickly, but if you have literally nothing, I don't wanna pretend that this is some sort of magical pill or miracle cure. That's not what this is at all. So who is this relevant for? If you're a coach, consultant, agency owner, maybe you've built an online course, pretty much anyone that's selling a high ticket offer online, then the strategies that I'll be sharing with you today will be super, super relevant. So I want you to meet Charlie. He actually began his business last year. He built a website, ran some Facebook ads, sent some cold emails, and then he waited and waited and waited, but nothing happened. Not any booked calls, certainly no sales. And for that entire year, he pretty much just spun around on a hamster wheel. He bought courses, he watched YouTube videos, and every one of those things told him to do something different, right? Try outreach, uh, try content, build a funnel. Yet, despite that, nothing worked. Even if he managed to book a call, it was usually because he was doing something super manual and time consuming. And the only time when things felt easy was when a friend would just miraculously come over and give him a referral. But obviously that was luck and he simply couldn't rely on that. So does Charlie remind you of anyone? Because it reminds me of myself. In fact, I was Charlie five years ago, the first time I tried to generate income online. And I was just sick and tired of working my nine to five, right? probably similar to you, building someone else's dream, making way less money than I knew I probably deserved given how effective I was at work. So that's when I tried my hand at a couple side hustles. I tried to build a career consulting company to help people ace their interviews, failed. I tried to start a lead generation agency for solar companies, failed. But I got really lucky because I was working in sales and marketing at a bunch of startups and software businesses. And that's all I did from the age of 20 to 26. And despite being a natural introvert, I learned over time how to become really good at sales, being on the sales floor. I eventually was able to close millions of dollars and be the top sales guy at the company. And once again, lucky enough for me, I was working at these marketing software businesses where I had to learn about marketing technology. I had to learn about automation. I had to learn about building systems. And because of that, I was able to understand what went into the background of these companies that were able to scale quickly. After years and years of spending at these companies, I finally had a skill set that when I applied to my online business, I was able to actually break through those previous failures and start generating real income for myself. So that's exactly what I'll be sharing with you today. So like I said, there's gonna be four steps. And the first step is that you need to validate and package your killer offer. And the first law when it comes to building a killer offer is that a killer offer is actually more important than your sales skills and your marketing process itself. And why is that? Well, the reality is you can have two salespeople. One is the best salesperson on the planet and the other is a terrible salesperson. But if you give the terrible salesperson a really, really, really killer offer, he will actually still close more deals than the best salesperson who's selling a terrible offer. So I'll give you an example of what that actually means. So you look at this chart here and here's actually the different factors that make an offer killer or mediocre. On the mediocre side, you have an offer which is super generic and goes after a very, very broad audience. As well, this offer has very weak claims and it simply doesn't create a big transformation for the end customer. It also has a very low degree of certainty. In fact, if a customer comes in, they don't even really know if they're going to succeed. It's pretty much a crapshoot. As well, this offer requires the client to actually be very involved. They have to put in their own time and their own energy before there's any real results. As well, you don't really know when this result is gonna even come. Is it gonna be a week from now? Is it gonna be a year from now? Who knows? And finally, this offer also has a lot of competition, a ton of other people selling similar things, claiming similar transformations, and all of these different factors combined makes an incredibly mediocre offer. 
The best salesperson in the world is not going to move many units of this. On the flip side, you have this killer offer on the right. And what makes a killer offer? Well, a couple things is that it's niche down and it's laser focused to help a specific branch of customer. And then the offer itself has huge claims. It provides you massive transformation, something that might be even life changing for the end customer. And there's a very, very high degree of certainty. Not only are you almost guaranteed to get the end outcome, but the client needs to pretty much do no work and put in no effort to get that outcome. And it'll happen incredibly quickly. To wrap it all up, no other vendor can provide that type of experience for the end customer. So imagine that you're the prospect, you hear an offer like this and no one else can provide it. How easy of a buy will it be? The worst salesperson in the world could still close you on that offer. And that is the difference between a killer offer and a mediocre offer. Customers will pay happily for a killer offer. We have two offers here. I want you to compare them in your own mind. The first offer is, oh, we just help any company improve their sales. Uh, we're not going to give you any guarantees. Sorry, that's too risky for us. And by the way, you're going to have to do this mostly yourself because it's just a simple course and no, there will be no uh, coaching. There will be no implementation or service delivery. And also, I don't really know when you're going to get the result. Maybe you will, maybe you don't. Eh, three months from now, a year from now, whatever, right? Very wishy-washy. Contrast that to offer number two, where we will grow your restaurant by 10 to 20% in the next three months. And we will guarantee a minimum of 500 new customers, or we're just going to give you your money back. Not only that, you don't need to work at all because we'll actually implement the systems directly into your business for you. And that way you can continue to focus on the other things that you find important. How amazing of an offer is that? Which of these offers sounds better, right? That second offer, not only is it hyper targeted, not only is it super, super confident, it happens fast. The client barely needs to move a finger. Yeah, you can sell that thing for tens of thousands of dollars and it would be an easy sell. So that is the beauty of a killer offer. Now, moving into the second law of the offer, and that is it's actually much easier to scale your income and your revenue by selling high ticket offers compared to low ticket offers. So let's say your goal is to generate $100,000 in sales, which seems easier to you to sell 10 units at $10,000 each or to sell a thousand units at a hundred dollars each, which sounds easier. And I'm telling you right now, having sold both high ticket and low ticket offers online, it's always easier to make money selling high ticket. And the beautiful thing is let's pretend your goal for your income is just $10,000 per month. Well, if you have a $5,000 offer, which isn't even that expensive, you only need to move two of those every month for you to hit your goal. That seems super attainable, right? I mean, to close two offers, maybe you need six to eight sales calls, assuming you're closing at a even acceptable rate. Well, do you not think that in the 200 work hours you have available to you per month, you couldn't book six to eight sales calls, even if you're doing it in a very scrappy way? Of course you could, of course you could, right? And that's why it's so possible, so attainable for you to be able to generate 10, 20 K in the first 90 days of your business and potentially scale up even beyond that. Now, the third law of offers is that killer offers are very high ticket, but they're also very hard to actually create and fulfill. I mean, naturally, right? If, if this was such an easy offer to create and provide, then by its very definition, it wouldn't be a killer offer. It would be generic. It would be commoditized. It would be easy and everyone would do it. It's because of the fact that it's hard to create these offers that make it so valuable, so easy to sell and so lucrative, right? So if you stick around until the end of this conversation, I'll actually share with you exactly how even a beginner with very little experience can go and create their own killer offer within a fairly short amount of time. All right, so step two is that you need to generate top of funnel traffic and awareness to your offer. Because once you have this offer that you're fairly happy with, you need people to realize that it exists. So the first law of awareness is that you need to cut out the noise because there is a massive issue that comes out, especially today when you just have so many different options of how you can create traffic, right? What do you choose? LinkedIn, creating a podcast, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. There are just so many different things that you could do in theory to get customers. And a mistake that people often make is that they just try to dabble in literally everything. 
It's like a dog chasing cars. It's shiny object syndrome, and they end up doing nothing well. On the other hand, you have a different group of people who see all of these options and they just get paralyzed, and they don't even know what to do or where to start. Neither of this is ideal. Instead, what you need to do is pick a single path and just execute on it ferociously. Everything else is just noise that you cut out. And the reality is, if you do just pick one channel and one method to connect with your ideal customer base, and you just do it every damn day, and every day that you do it, you learn more and more, and you improve on the way that you do it, then you will eventually generate lots and lots of customers. But it requires focus. There was a quote from Bruce Lee, because obviously as an Asian guy, I gotta idolize Bruce Lee, and he said, I fear not the man who has practiced a thousand kicks once, but instead the man who has practiced one kick a thousand times. So that's the same thing in sales and marketing and entrepreneurship. Okay, the second law of awareness is that you gotta start with free organic marketing. Because when you're in your early stages of business, so let's say below $20,000 a month, paid traffic simply does not make sense. Not only do you not have the budget that you're going to need for paid traffic, but paid traffic requires you to know a lot of data and information about your offer and your audience, which you probably don't know at your early stage. Instead, you want to go after the more organic, free methods of getting traffic. And there's really two methods of doing this. The first method is you simply just do outbound outreach. So pick the platform that your audience is most accessible on, whether it be LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or email, and stick to that one platform. And then identify where your actual prospects are, get their contact information, get their data, and just reach out to them in a highly personalized, non-spammy, value-driven way. And then do this every single day, many, many times a day, for a long, long time. And if you do that, you're gonna book a lot of meetings, right? Now, in this video, we're not gonna go super deep into how to actually uh, set up these individual campaigns. I do have breakdowns and tutorials for how I do outreach on pretty much every single social channel in my main YouTube channel, so you can go there if you wanna learn more about that. But I'm just highlighting that this overall method can be very fundamental when you're first starting out your business. Outside of organic outreach, another method is just content. You can share valuable content and hopefully your customers will essentially raise their hands and say, hey, that's very interesting. Just like my YouTube channel, right? So same thing, pick your ideal channel for content distribution. It could be YouTube, it can be Instagram, and then just do it consistently. Make sure that it's super valuable and then follow up, book lots of meetings and close deals. It's not rocket science. Like whether you're doing outreach or content, it's the same thing, right? You, you pick a channel, you find your audience, and you're just super consistent with delivering them value and having conversations with them. So once again, stick around until the end of today's conversation, and I'll literally just share with you exactly how you can pick which channel to use and what to do on those particular channels in order to build that relationship with your customer and get them to want to book a call with you. All right, so the third step is indoctrination. And what the first law of indoctrination says is that it takes on average seven touch points before your prospect will trust you enough to buy. So what does that mean? Let's say so far you've been able to generate leads to the top of the funnel, whether you have an Instagram account and you're posting a bunch of stories, or perhaps you're sending out cold emails and LinkedIn messages, people are somehow finding out about you. And sometimes these people will book a sales call with you immediately after one touch point, maybe because they're just super desperate or they loved your content that much, but that's only gonna be 10% of the total prospect population that'll do that. The rest of that population, the 90%, they will be more skeptical. They will require significantly more massaging, if you will, before they're willing to jump on a sales call. And that's what I'm talking about with the seven touch points. On average, you're gonna have to touch someone seven times before they trust you enough in order to book them into a sales call. And this is exactly what we call indoctrination, right? It's the process of nurturing your audience so that over time they become a tribe of buyers. Now the question is how do you do that? Well, case studies, valuable content, actual conversations in the DMs, and the list goes on and on. But how do you actually do this scalably? Once again, stick around until the end and I'll be sharing with you how I actually have built out a fully automated, fully scalable indoctrination process that warms up my audience and gets them to be piping hot leads that want to buy.
Now, step four is you need to become a master high ticket closer because you can spend all the time in the world booking sales calls, but if you can't actually close them, then what's the point? And the first law of sales is that sales is a science. It's a system. There is this misconception that a lot of people have where they believe sales is some sort of like natural talent that you're either born with or you're not. And that is like the furthest thing from the truth because I'm an introvert. I'm a very highly analytical, nerdy introvert. Character traits that oftentimes people do not associate with sales. Yet over time, not only have I learned how to sell effectively, but I've even learned how to love sales. And I think the reason why, for me anyways, is that at its core, sales is a repeatable system. For example, the sales conversation itself. You have a script and you follow it. And then the assets and content that you use to create more trust with your prospects, your pitch decks, your ROI calculators, your case studies, that is all something that you build in advance and you use every single time. The technology to track your deal flow, to stay organized, once again, it's a system. And then finally, when you're trying to close, win a deal, you have a playbook that you're using again and again, your typical objection handling frameworks, your negotiation strategy, all of that has been built out in advance. And when you have all of these elements together, then not only will your conversion rate go up and your speed of closing deals will improve, but your deal size will even get bigger. And that's how we generate massive revenue. Now, the second law of sales is that sales is a skill that you can learn. Objection handling, persuasion, negotiation skills. A lot of these are the components of sales that oftentimes people think about being very much like, oh, you need to be a smooth talker in order to crush it here. You gotta be Jordan Belfort, you gotta be Grant Cardone, you gotta be charismatic. Once again, not true. Because just like anything else with good practice, you can get better. But the key is, when you're practicing, you gotta follow an actual routine, a practice schedule, which has been proven to work by experts. And if you stick around for another five minutes or so, I'm going to share with you exactly what that process is so that you can become extraordinarily comfortable closing deals on Zoom and massively improving your skills to do so in just 90 days. In fact, if you can just follow all four of those steps that I've outlined for you so far, you can definitely hit those five figure months within the next 90 days. But what if you want more? What if you want to be like Rhea here, who was able to generate $91,000 in a single month for her consulting firm? She actually helps nonprofits fundraise better. Or Manjeet, who was able to generate nearly $50,000 cash collected in one month, and he sells an online course for real estate investors. Or Fernando, who scaled to 100 k cash collected in a single month for his marketing agency. These are all clients of mine that have seen massive success, and the truth is you won't actually get to their numbers in 90 days by following those four steps. So that's why I'm gonna give you a bonus fifth step for free right now, and that is that you need to scale on autopilot. This is the step that allows you to achieve real freedom, the step that allows you to spend more time with your kids and your family if you would like while your business still grows. The step that allows you to maybe take a week or two or five off to go to the beach and sip on pina colada and you know revenue is still going up without you. So what is this? Well, let's get into the first law of scale, which is to achieve freedom, sales and marketing needs to run on autopilot. The question is, if you went on vacation for a month right now, would your leads dry up or will sales calls continue to flow into your calendar? If the answer is that your leads will dry up, then we have a problem. So how do you detach yourself from your lead generation, from your call booking? Well, it's simple. Technology and hiring a sales team. The correct execution and combination of those two things will allow you to actually step entirely away from your revenue generation process and it'll still thrive. Now the second law of scale is that in order to achieve freedom, your business needs client fulfillment to also run on its own autopilot while still delivering amazing client experiences. So the same test, if you want a vacation for a month, will your clients still have a good experience? But let's go one step further. If you left on vacation for a month, could you not only keep your existing clients happy, 
but could you add even more customers, brand new customers to your client base and have them still be super happy? And that's the key, right? Just like before, the method here is that you're going to be involving technology and building a team in order for you to scale your fulfillment. But the focus really is on customer experience. At no point do you ever sacrifice your client's experiences just for the sake of sales. As soon as you notice your customer experience going down, you have to literally slow down sales. So business is all about juggling these two things. If you can do this successfully, that's how you can actually scale to 30K, 50K, or even 100K per month in revenue. And in one second, I'm gonna actually share with you how you can do this. But before I do that, I just wanna ask you one question. One. And the question is, why do 95% of entrepreneurs fail? After all, all the content that you ever need to learn about building an online business is technically out there for free. In fact, even my own YouTube channel, I'm giving out content for free that other people literally sell for thousands of dollars in their private courses and coaching calls. So clearly it's not due to a lack of information. Simply put, most entrepreneurs fail because they lack a systemized, tailored roadmap for their own journey. Because your business is unique, your offer, your audience, your skill set, your situation is all unique to you. And that means the most fast and effective way for you to scale to 10K a month or 50K a month or 100K a month is likely going to be fairly specific to you. Now, are there gonna be lots of fundamental truths and commonalities? Of course, but when it comes down to it, you're going to have unique issues that pop up that are pretty specific to you that a course will simply not have explained. And certainly you buying into some low quality group coaching program where you only have five minutes to ask a question once a week, that's not going to be able to solve the issue at the end of the day. Most of these solutions, whether it be free online content or group coaching classes with a course, they're generic, they're a cookie cutter. They provide a one size fits all solution and there's simply no one-on-one -on -one tailored mentorship. And that is why people fail. And it's because all they do is tell you how to do something. They don't tell you why to do things, which things to not do, and in what exact step and sequence to do those things in. And what that leads to is your execution being all over the place, right? One day you do this, another day you do that. It's just like a random mishmash of stuff that you're vomiting against the wall. And if you want to succeed, you cannot do this. You have to be laser focused, like I mentioned before. You have to be executing on one thing at a time in a specific order with every action building upon the last so that you can hit an end destination. And if you want this very specific roadmap, but you yourself are a beginner and you don't know how to make one, then you got to work with a professional, someone who's actually experienced it themselves. And you got to work with them one on one for them to spend the time to learn about your situation, hear your story and literally concoct a personalized battle plan just for you. It's the same reason why if you're a professional athlete, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, you're going to get a custom fitted shoe that matches your foot. You're going to follow a very specific diet and workout regimen that has been hand built for you, not just something that was downloaded off of bodybuilding.com. So at this point, you really have two paths. And this dark path on the left is that you just tackle it alone. Some of the problems that you might run into is that you never create a killer offer that is easy to sell. Your offer is mediocre, generic, and forgettable. And then you just have a very difficult time solving this top of the funnel awareness that you know you have to solve to even get any sales calls booked in the calendar at all. Maybe it's because you don't know which channel to pick, or maybe you just don't know what to be doing within that channel itself. Perhaps it's because you fail to indoctrinate your prospects, right? They maybe see you one time on email or social media, but then you never get to build a longer term relationship with them to truly build trust. And then your close rates stay poor because you lack a conversion playbook. And then finally, you have no systems. You have no repeatable process that allows you to scale. So even if you do manage to solve some of the problems earlier in the chain, you're still working all on your own, manually, trading time for money, a slave to your own business, and you can never truly be free. That's a dark path. Whereas on the right here, towards the sunlight, you work with me one-on-one. -on -one. We will create together an irresistible offer that even if your sales skills are pretty weak, you will still be able to close easily and effectively. And together, we'll find the right channel for you to access your ideal customer base and build a relationship with them, whether it be via outreach 
or via content. We'll build together a method for you to indoctrinate your customers in the long haul so that they become piping hot leads that actually are knocking on your door to buy. I'll personally coach you on how to become a great salesperson. We'll do role plays together. I'll listen to your conversations. And I'll even give you my own sales conversion playbook with all my scripts, all my templates, all my everything so that you can become a robust and highly effective closer on Zoom. And then finally, we'll make sure that your entire business is scalable from your lead generation being able to work without you all the way down to your client fulfillment being top notch even if you're not incredibly involved. Literally, we'll even help you hire and train your salespeople for you. Everything is customized with us. There is no cookie cutter approach. I'll build your roadmap, design your homework, hold you accountable, and I'll teach you all of the strategies that you need to know, the same strategies that got me as well as all my clients where they are now. So apply below for a call with me. I'll see if we're a good fit. I'll show you how we can help. And obviously, I'll give you a little bit more information about the investment as well. And this way, you can join some of my other clients. Travis, who hit $30,000 in one month, no paid ads for his coaching program. Des, who was finally able to quit his nine to five software sales job. And literally one week, he was able to make $8,000. And now he's doing around 30 to 40K per month on average with his sales consulting firm. Chris here, he quit his teaching job, very quickly was able to make back to back five figure weeks. Jose, he had $26,000 in a single month with his coaching and public speaking business. Like I said, the roadmap for the first 90 days is to help you get to 10 to $20,000, but we're not gonna be stopping there. The vision is that over the course of a year and beyond, you can hit 30, 50, even 100K per month if you're able to apply some of these long-term scaling strategies that we're talking about. And I'm about to say something that's gonna be real crazy, but we are so confident that you're gonna succeed that we literally will guarantee your results, okay? There is literally no risk to this offer. We're gonna make a claim that bold. Now, I do often get some questions, so I'm just gonna answer them right now for you. Uh, the first one, is this just a course? If I haven't made myself clear enough, it is not just a course. Um, certainly, there are course elements to it where you can watch videos and download assets, but the fundamental nature of the program is based on coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Second question is who is a good fit? If you're selling a high ticket, an online offering, whether that be coaching, you're selling a course, you're doing consulting, you're building an agency, all of those people are a great fit. As long as you're ready to commit and go all in. If you're not in a place where you wanna invest time, money, and energy into your business, then probably we are not a good fit for you, so you don't wanna book a call in that case. The third is do you need to spend on ads? I mean, listen, if you wanna spend on ads, by all means, it can potentially put fuel in the fire, but that is not a prerequisite. A lot of the things that we teach require zero ad spend. And finally, what is the cost? Well, apply for a call below and I'll share with you what the pricing is, but I urge you to not think about this as a cost because a cost implies that it takes money away. Whereas this is an investment and you earn back on your investment, but don't take it from me, I'm obviously biased. Listen to some of the other clients that we've been able to help through their voice and their experience. Hiring or learning from Lloyd is the best shortcut we could have ever taken to get from not knowing anything about organic to being able to do 30 to 40,000 in organic in a couple of months. If we would, we probably could have figured it all out. We're both smart guys, but I learned a long time ago, if you can find a shortcut, it's worth the money, <laughs> you know? So, um, you're the best that I could find. And I looked at who, who's the best at organic. Lloyd's the best at organic. So if Lloyd's the best at organic and he wants to teach you, you should pay him whatever amount he asks for. Because in our experience, it, it paid itself back in a couple of weeks. And yep. then it, it, the return on investment in your course was, uh, it's, it's soon to be close to infinite because it just keeps going and there's no ad cost <laughs> involved in it. So, you know, I mean, in the first month, what was our return? Like 5X? So it's not easy, but it is possible and it's simple once you put the disciplines into effect. I mean, yeah. you gave us freaking homework like three weeks. Like John was like, hey, we're having this call. I thought it was just to be like, like a call like this, which these calls have a ton of value. But John's like, hey, we have a call with Lloyd. I'm like, all right, sure. And then I'm like, oh, this guy's got freaking like to-do lists for us, which was great. <laughs> I, just, I just wasn't expecting it, you know, but it was good because it was like, hey, 
let's take action. Let's do things the right way and get this thing going. So that, that was awesome. I mean, I'm glad that it's a value proposition for me since apparently not many other people in the industry actually just give homework. The only place I've seen that kind of one-on-one, -on -one, like, Hey, I'm going to sit down and, and talk with you exactly about you is really those like $30,000 mastermind, you know, type programs. So, I mean, I, I've seen them before, but never in, in an environment that the way, you know, your program was presented. You know, is how I found you, Lloyd. And I was like, oh, you know, we, I looked at your stuff. We talked a little bit and, you know, what was attractive to me is a system that you have of being able to expand my network, being able to sell without buying ads and also being able to like connect with people without being spammy. And I think num the number one mistake that I made before I met you was like, I was using LinkedIn, but I was coming across as like too salesy and spammy. And so people like weren't taking meetings. And then using some of your techniques, <laughs> I had an opposite problem, which is like everyone was trying to like book calls with me when it came time to sell in January. So I opened the cart, so to speak, in January with the goal of having uh, 20 people enrolled by the end of January. And, you know, I ended up booking like 40 ish calls, I think. And of the 40, I got 15 people signed up at $5,000 each for it's now an eight week program. Work with Lloyd. The, the proof is in the pudding. You know, um, I signed on, you know, it was a significant investment for me, but I think you have to invest in your business and Lloyd knows his stuff. Lloyd, your tactics worked, your strategies worked, and I had the best month I ever had. So when you and I met Lloyd a while back, I was at, you know, just under 30K a month. And uh, after implementing your uh, appointment center and following your process, we've now um, exceeded 100K per month. And definitely having the uh, sales operation structure and the processes in place was, able, was a key thing that allowed us to get there. Awesome. How, how many months has it been since we started working together? I think if three, three or four-ish or something. Yeah, so just I think we hit those big key uh, milestones within about the first 90 days. Yeah, for anyone listening to this who has done setting yourself, you're, you're, if you're constantly on DMs, uh, posting content, or juggling, juggling a team of VAs or one VA and you have any type of headache of frustration like I did, um, definitely recommend reaching out to Lloyd, uh, set up a call. And you know whether or not you become a private client of Lloyd like I am, at least he'll be able to give you some insight that you probably don't have. And once you kind of break the shackles of being in your business, doing all the work that a setter should be doing instead of the owner, it's so liberating. And yeah, we've been able to like three X our revenue and it's been great in terms of my time too, because three weeks ago, we ha I have a newborn son now, and there's no way I would be able to be a, you know, uh, non-absentee father. What, you know, it, I've told be an absentee father if I was still doing everything I was juggling on my own, right? But now that I have a team, I can actually like feel good about taking a couple hours doing my family responsibilities, spending time with my family and have the business still grow, not just like survive, but grow without me actually trying to take over, right? So that's what I would recommend to someone watching this.